Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how to make your own little notebook slash journal slash possible Midori insert using some paint chip, paint chip. Did I say that right? Paint, <laughs> did I say paint chimp? <laughs> paint chip uh, samples and brochures, paint chip brochures specifically from your local hardware store. I've made a few of these uh, notebooks for my Midori as inserts. I use them as inserts, not specifically with the paint chips, but just with other cardstock. And once you see how easy it is, I know that you're gonna wanna do it too. So first things first, you're gonna need some paint chip samples. And I got this particular brochure from Home Depot. You're also gonna need a corner punch. This is actually optional, but if you have one, that's great. I have a one inch one. And you're also gonna need one of these fancy staplers. I got this on Amazon and it's really affordable and I'll have a link below so that you can purchase one in case you don't have one. But basically it's um, a stapler with an adjustable end. That little white piece right there moves so you can staple exactly where it is that you need a staple. And also you're gonna need some paper for the actual insert part of the journal. And I'm gonna use some graph paper in this little composition book that I have. And you're also gonna need a paper cutter. So to start things off, you're gonna open up your brochure and make sure that the crease side is on the left and we're gonna trim off the excess, unless you you know, you know wanna make a giant notebook, um, but I like them on the smaller side, so we're just gonna cut off the excess on the right to make uh, just kind of like a small journal type kind of notebook. And my brochure did not come like that with little birds punched out. That was actually done by me. I love using paint chips in my craft, so yeah, I punched out some birds <laughs> earlier, or yesterday actually. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna insert my brochure in here and cut off the excess. Also, make sure that you're not cutting on the fold, otherwise you're just gonna be left with two pieces of paint chip samples instead of a little notebook. So this notebook is still a little too big for my taste, so I'm going to snip off the bottom part. Voila, now we have the outside cover of our little notebook slash journal slash insert, Midori insert. And at this point, if you'd like, you can you know, corner punch the edges to have just like a more, you know, polished look. But that's completely optional, it's up to you. I'm just gonna leave them kind of uh, square, kind of, you know, linear, because that's the kind of look that I like right now. Now for the sake of time, we're gonna skip this next step, but I'm just gonna explain it to you so that if you end up making one of these, you can include this step. But what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to want to cover up this <laughs> ugly informational material um, just because, you know, we're not decorating our house right now. <laughs> but um, what you want to do is just take some cardstock and uh, glue it on top of there and then trim the edges so that they match up. But anywho, we're going to skip that part, you know, just for the sake of keeping this video on the short side. And we're going to go right to making our little filler for our journal. I'm obsessed with graph paper, so I'm gonna be using some graph paper for the filler portion of my journal. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your filler paper is not bigger than the outside of your cover, than your outside cover. Otherwise, when you staple all this together, it's gonna to be sticking out, you know, the edges of the paper are gonna be sticking out of the cover, and it's gonna look really sloppy. So you wanna trim about a quarter inch all the way around just to give it a more polished look. Now that I've trimmed my paper all the way around, I wanna make sure, line this up and make sure that it's not bigger than the actual outside cover. And I'm gonna to wanna to fold it in half and then take my corner punch and round off the corners. So 
So next you're going to want to align the center of your filler paper pieces and also the uh, outside cover and then you're going to want to adjust your stapler so that the staple goes right on the center of your outside cover and then you're just going to staple three times. Also make sure that you're stapling on the outside of the cover and not on the inside the other way just because if you do that then the spine of your notebook is going to be pokey so just make sure that the staples are downward and outside on the outside of your cover. And now you have a paint chip notebook. Pretty easy right? Now I'm really excited to start making notebooks out of this particular brochure just because it gives me the option of making I think three notebooks so as you can see here that's where I would cut the first notebook and right there along that edge and then um, you have the option of making even more notebooks so just keep an eye out when you go to the hardware store for these these types of paint chip brochures and you can make cute little notebooks out of them and it's really easy all you need is that handy dandy stapler that I showed you which I will have linked below or you can sew it with a sewing machine and don't have a sewing machine and I'm really bad at sewing so I prefer to staple away. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that's it for today, friends. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.